Hello and welcome back to our Three Minute Thursdays here with Pastor Chad. Glad to be with you. Hopefully I can bring to you some encouragement and a devotional thought and remind yourselves as we walk this spiritual journey together that we don't do it alone. We need each other and hopefully this will be an encouragement to you today. I want you to think of one word as we begin and that word is speed. Yeah, speed. Why? I think it matters in our spiritual journey and we're gonna get there. But first I wanna tell you a quick story about when I was about nine or 10 years old, my mom was making a batch of cookies around Christmas time or the holidays, Thanksgiving, whatever it might have been. And she was making some kind of frosting with butter and powdered sugar and vanilla and she was mixing it in a bowl and maybe you know exactly what I'm talking about. My wife does it all the time. She would know exactly the recipe probably. But I was walking through it and I'd asked if I could help and she was leaving and made a new bowl of, of this what was gonna be frosting and said, yeah, can you blend this together? And I watched her do it. She would do it with a spoon for quite a while and then eventually maybe use a blender. But, but I thought, you know, if, if, you, if you can use the blender at the end, why not the beginning? It would be quicker. And so she left, I put the blender in, not on low speed, of course, but on high speed. And I turned it on and what happened with the powdered sugar, of course, it just flew everywhere and made a huge mess. My mom walked in and said that it's a phrase I heard so many times in my life, Chad, what are you doing? And I said, I was trying to help, but I wanted to make it quicker. How often that doing life quicker and faster can, can at times be a helpful agent and other times can be the thing that begins to be a blocker in our, in our journey on growing and getting closer with others and with God. So today I want you to think through this idea of, of speed. In fact, I've been reading through this, that book, The Three Mile an Hour God, and, and that, that, that phrase came from the speed in which someone walks was about three miles an hour. And that God is a God that walks slower than we think, and he is a God that is not in a hurry. And so today I want you to think that through in your spiritual walk, in your journey, that I, I'm mean, gonna I encourage you to, to, to try to find times in your day to slow down and walk with Christ. Walk in an area where you can just slow your life down and begin to hear the voice of God. There's In the book I wanted to read to you today, it talked about God and, and the slowness, but it says this in this portion, God walks slowly because he is love. If he is not love, he would have gone much faster. Love has its speed. It is an inner speed. It is a spiritual speed. It is a different kind of speed from the technological speed to which we are accustomed. It is slow, yet it is Lord over all of our speeds, since it is a speed of love. It goes on in the depth of our life, whether we notice it or not, whether we are currently hit by a storm or not, a three mile an hour walking speed. It is a speed we walk, and therefore, it is a speed of love of the God who walks. Today, I want you to think through the idea of slowing down enough to hearing God's voice. And are we living a life at such a pace that we struggle to hear God, to notice God, to see God? Maybe the speed of the journey of our faith walk needs to slow down a bit so we can learn and listen. Today, I'm not saying we can't be busy. I'm not saying we can't do things and go and try to get a lot done. But I am saying, do we live life at such a speed, such a hurry, that God has a really tough time to walk with us to speak to us and to begin to help us on our spiritual journey. I'm gonna challenge you this week to take a time. Maybe it's literally a walk. Maybe this week you would walk with God for 15, 20 minutes and just walk and ask God to walk with you. It might be amazing what happens when we slow down and let God begin to speak into our life. God bless you today.